Good morning, John. I would like to do for you a historic reenactment of the moment when I read the title of your video from last week. What a lovely day. I am not currently experiencing any sources of broad anxiety. Let's go see if John's uploaded his video. <laughs> I'm fine now. I mean, how does this all end? It ends in death, John. You gave me a whole word for it that I forgot. It's gonna bug me, so I'm gonna text you. What's the word for the philosoph philosophical word? For death and talking about death that you use sometimes? I mean, the translation algorithms are getting so good now. You know, John, he'll write back. He, he knows what I mean. First of all, survey results say people are cool with us taking three weeks of vacation. I don't know how I'm gonna do that. I'm not really set up for that in my mind. There being space for flexibility, I don't know if that's that's good for me. I need to know exactly what I have to do. So I think that I'm going to schedule my vacation days like very far in advance to not give myself the possibility that like, oh, maybe it's gonna be this week if I don't have any good ideas. No, I need the pressure. John, I think it's interesting that you were like, uh, how, how do we get a little bit of vacation? Whereas I have spent the last three weeks being like, I think I need to upload a video about donuts on the Hank's channel. What about the FDA's new nutritional label requirements. I think I need to weigh in on that. Eschatology, there's my big bro, is the word you're thinking about, but it's the whole human apocalypse, not just individual death. Eschatological anxiety is fear of apocalyptic events. Oh. But that stands. How is this going to end? You know, it, it will eventually. But I have a lot more to talk about today. For example, the fact that I have just left this hammer that I hit a router with on the floor for that long. It, I have a problem with tidying up. Does anyone want this hammer? I'm gonna hide it in the bushes by the Big Dipper ice cream shop. And if you come by, it'll be there. Okay. John, I'm almost done signing pieces of paper. And the pieces of paper they gave me for the UK editions of my book were different and had a weird, cool stop motion effect when I sped up the video. Each page is a little bit different and the curls faded and out. And at one point, one of them blinks. Whoever at Orion, which is my UK publisher, thought of that, that's amazing. And I did not expect that to work that well when you told me that you were doing it. I was like, yeah, probably won't look as, but it looks so cool. Now, John, you just won't stop texting me about various death things. I also, John, have an audiobook narrator. I almost wish that I had been less involved because it gave me so much anxiety. They were all so good, all of the people we had to choose from. But ultimately, it was very subjective. It was the person, when I was listening to it, I felt like I was listening to April. Gave me those goosebumps, made me feel like the person I created was talking to me. Which was both, like, beautiful and emotional, but also, like, a little upsetting and like kind of uncanny. But the narrator of my audiobook, there's actually two of them. The main one is Kristen C. She was in Orange in the, Orange is in the New Black. The Blacklist, House of Cards. The other narrator of my audiobook. So there is, at a point in the book, a switching of perspectives for one chapter, and I will be doing that chapter. And so I feel very good about this happening, and I cannot wait to start getting into the weeds of getting the audiobook made. And John, finally, to cap off this video, the comments that people left on your video after you said this. What do you get out of Vlogbrothers videos? We're just so, like, life-giving to me. I'll know forever that if I need a little lift me up, a little kick, kick me in the pants, I can go to the comments of that video and just read a little bit. So thanks, John, and thanks everybody who left those comments. It means a huge amount. John, I'll see you on Tuesday.